Hi, FM. Welcome back. I hope you guys are having a great day. It's reaction time. What's playing, Dan? You're watching Barbarian. Mm, a new first time watching for us. I've heard a lot of good things about this, too. It's supposed to be like one of the best ones from 2022, so... Let's find out. Cheers to you, fam. Let's go watch that. Quaint little house other than the music. It is. Yeah, that music is really leaving a little dreadfulness here. So it feels like we descended into hell. One eight eight three one. Go away. Eight three three one. <laughs> oh, you've got to be kidding me. <laughs> what a crock. <laughs> what is with this neighborhood? There's like nothing else there. I mean, there's a house across the street, but it's pitch dark. That's what I'm saying. Like, good lord. I need some street lights. <laughs> yeah. I'm sorry. Who are you? I'm renting this place. No, I. I'm running this place. Well, he's inside and you're outside. I'm gonna say. Sorry. <laughs> Why don't you come inside and we'll call these idiots. Yes, good idea. Ominous lead up there, I like that. I know. Not your business. <laughs> Going through people's stuff. Here. Oh, oh Jesus. Jesus. I'm sorry, I didn't... Mother... <laughs> I guess I'll just find somewhere else. I mean... Yep. Yeah. I, I don't think that's such a good idea. I mean, I don't know if you got a great look at this neighborhood, but I don't think you should be sitting out there by yourself this late. Oh, okay then. <laughs> it's kind of fishy looking. Why don't you just crash here? Oh, no. I don't... I don't think that's... No, no, no. You, you, t you take the bedroom, and I'll sleep out here on the couch. And then tomorrow, we'll call these idiots, get our money back, free stay for both of us. Pretty good deal, actually. Yeah, not bad. I, uh... I kind of have a thing about clean sheets. Uh, well, he's, re he's really hopping through some hoops here. Just a little bit. I would have just been like, okay, couch is yours. <laughs> and she's got a habit of going through people's crap. I know. That is not fair. Say what you will, fam. I don't agree with what she just did there. I don't either. He's giving her the benefit of the doubt. She's questioning everything he does. That's right. Oh, my. I thought I'm gonna have some of this here wine. You know, you might want some of this, but if I open it while you weren't here, that, um, that, um, I'm, I'm sorry, I'm rambling. I'm good, but you go ahead. <laughs> Are you sure? All that for, uh, for a simple answer. Yeah. What brings you to town? Job interview for a documentary filmmaker. She made a movie about jazz called Blue Easy. Oh, I saw that. You saw Blue Easy. I'm calling BS. There's that scene with the kids on the rooftop playing the coal train stuff. Great. I can't believe he saw that. Okay, never mind. He watched it. Oh. I had been the one that checked in first, and you showed up late at night. What? You wouldn't have let me in? Hell no, I wouldn't have let you in. What? What? Do I look like some kind of monster? Not my point. I, I get it. I get it. I mean, there's a lot of bad dudes out there. Yeah, but she just pointed at her own double standard. Mm-hmm. Well, she admits to it. Yeah. You got it? So back up, because now it gets a little bit. God. <laughs> a little aggressive oh my with the God. thing. But that is... That's pretty interesting. You learned something. I actually did there. <laughs> I'm not going to do it, but hey. <laughs> Good night, Tess. Good night, Keith. <sighs> They're just going to come barging. I know, right? Okay. Like, ha oh, you fell for it. Oh, what the hell was that? What the hell? What in the actual hell was that sound? That sound kind of weird. Keith? Huh. 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 He's just having a nightmare. Like a really bad one, yeah. Yeah. Oh, hell no. Um, there's somebody else in the house. No. <laughs> ah! oh! The fuck? What you... I'm so sorry. What, what, are you, what, are you, what are you doing? Did you open my door? No. Well, they're not friends anymore, apparently. Okay. Well, I mean, she does have trust issues. Yeah. Oh. Well, there's a transition for you. Okay. It's a nice, uneventful night. Yeah. All right, let's... Oh, yeah. We haven't seen this. Ooh. I mean, we kind of figured it was a bad neighborhood, but yes. Well, now we know for sure. Oh, my God. Yeah, she didn't see any of that. You couldn't. It was too dark. It was really dark, wasn't it? That, that's the only damn light. This is why Detroit sells houses for a dollar. Oh, my God. I forgot that they do that. Yeah. So, where are you staying while you're in town? Oh, an Airbnb. Oh, that's nice. Whereabouts? Brightmoor. What? No, you shouldn't be there. What do you mean? That's not... An Airbnb in Brightmoor. It's there. <laughs> the house itself is a bad, bad neighborhood. But... Okay, well, just be careful, okay? Seriously. I will. Well, it was really nice to meet you. Yeah, no, I'm, I'm excited. You mean she's not going to hook her up with a better place? I know, right? Okay. 
Is that somebody coming at her on the street? Somebody coming down. Somebody's the running at her. Hey, little girl! Hey! Come here! What? Hell no! Come out that house! Go away! Come out that house! Well, that was interesting. I'm. A, I got questions. Can you send someone, please? We don't have any available units at the moment. Oh, well, that sucks. Just stay in the house and wait. I don't know. He didn't seem to want her in there. I wonder if he was trying to warn her. Probably. I might have to wonder what he, what does he know, right? This house sucks. There's no toilet paper anywhere. Hmm. There it all is. Who puts toilet paper in the basement? I don't know. That looks like a trap, though. <laughs> I know, right? Hmm. Really? Oh, no. <laughs> She's stuck in there. Maybe she has toilet paper. Right. And you left and your no phone. phone. <laughs> Actually, I probably would leave my phone sitting somewhere. Uh-uh. Why are you just pulling on random ropes in the basement? Oh. oh. Oh, that's interesting. That's some Evil Dead scary shit there. I know, right? Yeah. Hell no, I'm not going in there. I am not that desperate to go anywhere. <laughs> Maybe get out the window first and go back upstairs. Nope. There yeah, you go. Good, good. <laughs> what are you trying to do now? Oh, she's trying to reflect. She's got a mirror. Ah, getting crafty, okay. Good work, Aziz. Yeah, good job. Oh, it's big, too. It is, but it's scary. Well, anything with no lights is going to be scary. Right. There's something back there, too. You're brave. I can't see anything right now. Mm-mm. Oh. oh. That's a definite nope. Definitely get out of there. Yes. Don't wait. Don't think. Yeah. Just run. The bucket in the corner should tell you all you need to know. <laughs> oh, jeez. <laughs> is that a police unit? Probably. Break the window. I got locked in the basement and then there was this hidden area. There was this room. There was something bad going on here. Relax, you're, you're okay. You're safe. No, there's there's nothing safe about this place. You're safe when you're out of the house. There was a bed okay. and a camera and a bucket. Uh, I'm just gonna go. <laughs> yeah, no, please. Just let him go. You yeah. leave. I just want to see it. You don't even have to come with me if you don't want to. I'm not going back down there. Oh, that's fine. Why does he need to see it? That makes no sense. Just I take know, your right? word for it. Can you see not. it? Yeah. Okay, we'll come back up now. Okay. Yeah, he's not doing that. Nope. And yeah, of course, let's go back down. Uh, all his survival instincts for nothing. Oh, for God's sake. A stronger flashlight's not gonna help you in there. Good lord, the lack of music. Now you're immersed. <laughs> mm-hmm. Just waiting for the jump scare. I know. Oh, there's another door. It goes <laughs> down that's further? <laughs> no. Oh, that's even creepier. Yeah, this is not a smart idea. Get out of this house. Keith! Oh, no, no. <laughs> Come up here, Keith! Oh, my God. They don't sound that bad. Oh, I thought she was about to tuck tail and run. If she was smart, she would. Yeah, my heart's doing the same thing right now. <laughs> Hell no. <laughs> Tell me vibes from the descent. I have not seen that, and I don't need to. What's uh -oh. with all the kennels? Oh, there's dog dishes in them. Probably keeping people in them. <laughs> Keith! <laughs> Answer me, Keith! I don't know if I would have had it in me to keep going. Yeah, I never would have bothered going this far. Keith was an idiot. Like, okay, I can see wanting to check out the first. <laughs> Why did you come down here? What else is down here? Oh, what? No. Someone bit me. Someone bit him. What? Stop! Stop it! We, we, we have to come this way! Someone's going! I'm not going back! Oh. Holy oh, shit! Crap. What is that? Oh, Jesus. Oh my oh god! My god. Bash him what the, the hell are you? What the heck? What in the actual F? Well, that came out of nowhere. And that was an uh, odd transition. Yeah, w what? <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay, I think Keith is pretty presumed dead here. Yes, I would yeah. think so. <laughs> All right. Good Lord. Hey, it's uh, Justin Long. Yep. Apparently, Megan Maddox claimed that you were sexually aggressive during the filming of the pilot, and she no longer wants to move forward if you're involved. Oh, Lord. Of course. Well, I'm not surprised by that. The most likely outcome of all of this is that yeah. even if the show does go forwards, it's very unlikely that you will be involved. Fired? This wasn't the conversation he was expecting. <laughs> I know, <all> right? <laughs> it ruined his mood. There's going to be a story tomorrow in The Hollywood Reporter about this. Yeah, your career is ruined. What the fuck is she saying? She's saying that you raped her. Oh. 
Yeah, that's bad. Yeah, let the uh, let the investigation play out. It's the best thing you can do for yourself. Pretty much. If you're halfway a decent person, which you don't seem like to me. I think he's bound to take a flight to Detroit. Hmm. What do you anticipate your legal expenses to be? Around 70000 each. With your current rate of spending, it's going to put you at zero in three months. Oh, boy. The court case will take longer than that. I can sell the Michigan property. Some of those make money, right? Like a dollar. <laughs> Listen, AJ, I gotta tell you, I'm going to suggest that you find alternate wealth management. You're dropping me too. Good lord. They man. gotta protect their reputation. Is he really this bad? I don't know. Good question. Uh, I'm in I'm in Detroit. AJ, you aren't supposed to leave the state. <laughs> Why not? I'm not under arrest. <laughs> <Right. laughs> He's, He's a flight risk. Yeah. <laughs> Unless you plan on taking me on pro bono, I I'm gonna have to scrape up some money. Here to do some fucking liquidating. That's fair. You better get to it. Yeah. I'm here to pick up a set of keys. Name. A.J. Gilbride. 476 Barbary. That place? Okay. Isn't this that girl's car? Oh, you're right, it is. Yeah, because of the snake right there? Yeah, yeah. The fuck? Mom, did you get back out? <laughs> oh, no. Yeah, yeah, Bonnie, it's A.J. Hey. Is someone staying here at the moment? I don't think so. Huh. Well, someone's here. It's interesting. Mm -hmm. We haven't run it out in a couple of weeks. Yeah, bull crap. Somebody did. So somebody's been renting out their, his property. Yeah, the, it's obvious somebody was renting. to him. Yeah. What the fuck actually did happen? We fucked. We did fuck. You should tell just people. Just took things. some convincing is all. I'm a persistent dude, right? I so, think you're giving yourself away here right now. Pretty much. Thank you for proving what we already knew. Yeah. Hi, Megan. This is AJ. Oh, don't. Uh, <laughs> what are you doing? I hope you're not mad at me, because I, I really am sorry. And if you call me back, I'll apologize to you again. You've made a horrible mistake there. Mm-hmm. Surprised his phone's not blown up with his lawyers. <sighs> What's the fascination with his toothbrush? I don't know. <laughs> Jane Eyre. Why would you... Why would you know that? <laughs> he actually tried. Oh, uh, come no. on, man. You don't care. It's not his stuff. As far as he knows, they broke into his house. Oh, now there's no power down there. Somebody here? Yeah, that thing probably got out. What, running down the streets naked? Did something make noise down there? Yes, it did. Yes. That's the best you can do? A steak knife? Yeah. I mean, it's better than nothing, I guess. But... I suppose. At least he's going down there with a flashlight. All right, bitch. Get ready to get fucked. Quit saying that. Yeah. Is that door been closed? It looks like it's closed. Did he even know that this place existed down here? Probably not. Okay. We did say it looked old. Who knows how long this thing's been here. Can underground rooms be listed? Oh, for God's sake. Footage? That's what he's thinking of? <laughs> he's like, all right, I have a 10,000 square foot home. <laughs> oh, my God. Can be noted separately in the listing's total area. Oh, hell yeah. <laughs> I can pay my lawyers for six more months. Oh, God. Oh, creepy underground tunnel. Can I make money off of this? <laughs> this guy's logic is so convoluted. <laughs> yeah, all right, a rentable room. Look at him. He's measuring the <laughs> He doesn't care that there's a camera here. Or yes, uh, let's not address any elephants in this room at all. He's like, yes, I'm going to be a millionaire. Oh, shit. Hey, this is not the vibe anybody else was giving. He's measuring the whole stairway. For God's sake. Wow. He's still doing this. Are you not getting any red flags? You are guilty as hell. <laughs> I know, right? He's thinking, yeah, dog kennel in the basement? Yeah, he's got everything. <laughs> I can sell those individually? Yeah. <laughs> Fucking idiots. Another door down there? Yeah. Yep. With a light source. Well, whatever's down there knows you're there now. You would imagine. I like to let my baby determine how long he likes to nurse. What? Okay. Oh, my God. Okay. Interesting. What the fuck? This yeah. Oh! Uh -oh. Whoa. Whoa. Hey! Oh my god. Good job. An idiot. Maybe go into the room. That looks so video game look like right there. I know. Oh, come on, man. Keep measuring. Just use your feet. <laughs> so I'm seeing the electric cables on the wall. Yeah. So that explains the power source. Yeah. Oh Shit. my god. Oh, shit. Okay. Back to the heartbeat, and that thing's gonna be right on him. Oh, yeah. Uh-uh. Uh-uh. No. No. Ah! Ah! Stab by his... Keep moving. Oh. oh. He's, he got trapped! Ah! Oh, shit! Oh, they're dead. 
<laughs> my god, they're going all over the place right now in a very short period of time. Looks like... No, this, this is the 80s. <laughs> this is what it used to look like? I think so, yeah. Yep, yep. you're right. Neighborhood looks good here. I'd say it wasn't that bad. It clearly went to hell in a handbasket, man. I was hearing it was the heat of the moment. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I could hear that too. What the hell is your story? You're clearly part of what's ever happening here. No, he's probably down in the basement too. We just haven't seen it yet. Plastic sheets. Plastic sheets. We have uh, some on seven. Diapers and baby stuff. Now this guy looks like a serial killer. Yes. <laughs> Gonna take it to Mercy for the big day. Humber. You've got a midwife, right? She should have given you a list. It's just me. That should be sus. Yes. As hell to you. Do you have latex gloves? Yeah, I think maybe. Oh. Here? <laughs> Everybody's just like, how can we help you be a better serial killer? <laughs> All the 80s when nothing was suspicious. <laughs> mm, what's he looking at? A victim. Mm -hmm. Potential victim. His next baby mama. DWP, man. Sorry to bother. We've got some outages in the neighborhood, and I'm just checking to make sure everything's up to par. Well, he's, got, he's a very convincing killer, isn't he? I mean, back then, it probably didn't take much. Yeah. Well, I get it. Yeah, he's created himself an opening into that house, so... Mm -hmm. Looks fine to me, but do give us a call if you get any issues. Of course. Thank you. He doesn't have to be there and do it right now. Well, he's taking his time setting this up. He seems a very patient person, though, just the way he goes about things. We're moving, Frank. I hate to do it. They probably were the smart ones. You plan on staying? I'm not going anywhere. Yeah, that place looks much different now. Oh, yeah. Do you think it's possible that he renovated that place to be an Airbnb type of trap? I don't know. Yep, I hear. Jesus. The thing is, Justin Long's character owns it now, right? It appears so. I assumed he just renovated it himself. You cannot get upset. If you get upset, she gets upset. She? Who's she? Good question. What the hell is going on here? What? <laughs> That's a milk? baby bottle. Gross. Just fucking drink it. Oh, oh my god. god. My god. Is that its breast milk? Probably so. <laughs> oh, god. It's got hair all over it. Yeah, I see that. Oh. She just wants you to be her baby. Let me explain the video. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> I'm so confused. I am too. Oh God! Well, should have played baby. Yep. She you did. are not gonna make. You are not gonna breastfeed him. I think she is. She's you gonna try. No! This is perfectly natural. Look at those fingers. Mm-hmm. That was a whole. Silence of the Lamb vibes there for a moment, too. Yeah, there is. Puts the bottle in its mouth. <laughs> <laughs> she should use this opportunity to escape. Oh, God. This is... Oh, no. She's going for oh, it. Oh, no. Yeah. No. <laughs> no, that's actually going to happen? She's going to try it. That's not the foreshadowing I expected. No. Oh. <laughs> oh. Jesus. Yeah, just run. Run while you can. Oh. Don't take your time. Just run. Uh-oh. You turn the light off. How long has that creature been down there? She's still producing... Just break the damn door open. There you go. Wait, I close the other door behind you? It's probably too late for that. Oh, God. Oh, oh God! God she There's no helping that other guy down there. No. You're safe. You got out. You should count yourself as lucky, you hear? That's a bad place. And she ain't even the worst thing that's in there. What? 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 What could be worse down there? Come back time. She's gonna come out of there. She's gonna come looking for you. She comes out at night. Uh-oh. Just leave him to his baby. He's a bad guy anyways. How much worse does it get down there? That's what I want to know. Like, if she's not the worst thing, what is the worst thing? Yeah, that's what I'm saying. We saw that one guy. Maybe he's down there, too. Say, how far does this go? I don't know, but the power supply leads into there. <laughs> Right there. You hear it. Jesus. Why would you stop? Oh my god, do you see it? Yeah. <laughs> kind of make I do it now. <laughs> Pick your poison, I guess, huh? Alright. Try the unexplored room or start the thing you know is there. Yeah. 
Where the hell are you now? What? <laughs> Jesus. There he is. Oh my god. What in the actual F? <laughs> There's a man that is being held in a hell. Take your hand off the door. Really? Are you the one that called us? Yeah, I have been held prisoner for I, I don't even know how long. This is 72, go. Unbelievable. Copy that. Give me 10. Really? It's not even going to take it serious. Come on, police. Do your job. What is the situation you are in? Yes, start explaining things. Don't worry, okay? There's gonna be fucking cops swarming this place real fucking soon. Trust me, man. Probably doesn't want that. I'm about to say, he's playing you right now. Mm -hmm. Can you hear what I'm saying? This is a crime scene. Are, are you motherfuckers leaving? Hey, you're lucky we don't bring you downtown to sleep this off in jail. Where are you going? Where, where are you going? That's negligence. It is. Stephanie. Is this all the oh, women he's taking down there? It's gotta be. Gas station redhead. I don't know if you want to see this man. He's about to find out. <laughs> that didn't explain much. Doesn't have to. You heard that. Yeah. And you probably saw who's doing it, too. The fuck is wrong with you? Oh, you brought that right to him. Where'd you go, moron? Is he gonna kill himself? No, 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 wait! Wait! Nope. Has he been waiting for that opportunity? What? Jesus! Oh God, she just came right out. <laughs> She's still alive. Yeah. You better try harder. Uh, it had to have taken injury, though. I think he's dying. Uh, I don't trust that. But again, if, if she's not the worst thing down there. Right. We still haven't seen it, doesn't look like. Are they talking about that guy, or is there, like, more yet we haven't seen? All right, I guess he's not being taken alive, huh? Well, that did improve his survival chances. That is true. It's probably his light. Hello. Oh! Yep. He just killed her. Hey, hey, can you? Okay. Oh, no, she's alive. She's okay. Oh, okay. Oh, she's in his job. Damn. Ah! I'm sorry. Moron. I'm sorry. This guy is such a moron. Um, where is it? It is gone. She's gone. We knew she's gone. Where the fuck is she? I don't know. The opposite of here. What is this place? He's gotta be here somewhere. Who? Hey! Oh. Come on! You're like a gum on a shoe, man. I'm glad you're here. He's a survivor. Yeah. What the fuck is she? She's just a crazy lady living in that house. She was born there. Probably the guy's daughter. But that's her daddy's house. He used to bring women down there. And then he started making yeah. babies with him. Mm -hmm. And babies with the babies. And you end up with something like that. So it's just an inbred creature. Yeah, it is. Jeez. I'm right here, we're safe. How do you know she can't get in here? I've been living in this place more than 15 years. And she ain't never came in this motherfucker. Oh god, she has now! <laughs> Should have seen that coming. Oh no. Oh! oh my god. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> This is young more and more off the race. <laughs> She's gonna leave her back there. Come on, help her out. You're gone! Don't drop it, idiot. Oh. Oh, for God's sake. And there he goes. I can get away, but you're gonna have to slow her down. Oh, no. <laughs> hey! Come get your baby! He is a horrible person. Yes, he is. There she goes. What? She wow, jumped right out. Wow. She saved her baby. I don't know how she fell that fast. If Tess is alive, she's gonna try to kill you now. Oh yes, you'd better hope she's dead, cause you will be shortly if she's not. Yeah. <laughs> Just wow. Oh, she's alive. Oh fuck. Oh my god, are you okay? I'm so sorry. Really? I had no choice, you know? <laughs> oh for god. You can't rationalize that. You're, you're gonna be okay, I got you. I'm, I'm saving you. <laughs> oh, oh. Good justice now. <gasps> oh, oh no. no. <laughs> ah! oh, oh, God. Oh. Oh, what? What the heck? That's escalation. How does she have that kind of strength? Good Lord. <laughs> yeah, she needs help. So what happens now? She's gonna have to use that gun. Yeah. The night we met, I I... There has to be more answers. No, you pretty much got it all there, I think. I, cause I don't know how to feel about about that mother creature down there. 
In the end, she, was, she made was, sacrifices for her baby, but still, which she thought she, was her baby. She wasn't a terrible creature. She was just a product of her situation. That's fair. Yeah, I think that's it. Well, shit. Okay, just wow. <laughs> <laughs> that's a memorable ending right there. Yeah, we got some answers. We didn't get all of them because there were supposed to be worse things down there. I guess it was just that guy who took his own life. I can say the guy seemed to know that he'd been kidnapping all these women for a while, so I guess that would make him a pretty bad person. Yeah. And then as we were saying there at the end, the creature, I guess, was actually just like his inbred daughter, is actually just you know, trying to be a good mother, but she's been living in a basement her whole life, so she has like no social skills, no no sense of civilization. Hey, just running around the streets naked. Yeah. Yeah. What an interesting movie. It was. You knew to expect that something was going to happen, mm -hmm. but it never happened in the place you thought it was going to happen most of the time. Right. Except for that one time when that guy said, he's never gotten in here, and then bam. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Breaks in and kills him. Like, okay, you're killing the wrong person here, number one, but still, she didn't know that. So. Love the effects there, too, at the end, when she, like, ripped the guy's arm off, and then... Oh, and then... And she punches out just his eyes. eyes. Yeah. And then just splits his head. Yeah. Oof. Like, I wasn't expecting any of that at all. Like, no. But they, they put some effort into it. Good on them. And it turned out he was a horrible person. So, yeah. Yeah, I mean, I had no sympathy about him dying for that. No. Whether or not he was guilty for whatever he did in the past, sounds like he was, too. I'm going to say, I, yeah. I wasn't sympathetic about the guy in the first place, so. No, he seemed like, he seemed really su suspect on all of that. Oh, God, what's the other guy's name? Keith, I think, right? Yeah, that was a horrible poor, death, too. Poor Keith. Although his was probably fast, at least. His was kind of fast, yeah. Yeah. So whatever reasons anybody had to be there, none of it really mattered, <laughs> other than to give their characters some uh, some sense of uh, purpose in the, in this world. I'm saying they were just in the wrong place at the wrong time, pretty much. Yeah. I still I still think there's some unanswered questions there. I mean, number one, they said this guy's been kidnapping all these different women, having kids with all these different women. The only thing, the only people we saw there were down there were him and the one woman. Yeah. So what happened to all the other ones? Is he just like killing them? Are they dying off? Are they cannibalizing them? What's going on there? And then the other question too is how did the management property get hold of this house? And how did it end up as an Airbnb if it actually was owned by somebody who was a resident of the house? On top of that, if you didn't make the reservations for these people, who did? Yeah, I'm saying like it's it. It felt like there was some other conspiracy going on there, and, it, and we didn't actually see anything like that. Yeah, there's a lot of there's a lot of open dialogue holes there. Yeah, so. and maybe maybe just the management property, you know, just taking advantage of the fact that he was never there and trying to make a quick buck off of it. But maybe, fam, if you've got any answers for us, please give them. We uh, we could really use some help on this one because <laughs> we're uh, we're both a little lost here, but you know, some of it was understandable nonetheless. Yeah. Um, but yeah, that was dark and gritty and it was very disturbing the horror elements were very good i liked the music the music did a very good job of setting an ominous vibe it definitely did it, it there were some points in there where i thought okay it doesn't really need to be playing right now because nothing ended up coming of it and the scenes where it was needed it worked out very well agreed i love the little the little connection there between the the opening and the ending there because in the beginning, she is worried about Bill Skarsgård's character about possibly being some crazy person who might kill a woman. And then it turns out there actually was a crazy person that would yeah. kill a woman living there, but he'd been there for 40 years. <laughs> Interesting, right? Yeah. Because the guy said that cycle's been going on and on and on, right? Mm -hmm. Okay, so what about the rest of them? Where's the, where's the others? And for that matter, what was with all the dog kennels down there? So. That's what I'm saying. Like, it seemed like this was a big thing where there's like all these women, but we only ever see one. It's possible that all of these women, obviously the ones on those tapes, mm -hmm. you know, were the end product was what you saw in that mother creature. So, I guess. Now, I wonder too, what do people know about this neighborhood? Do they just know about what this guy's been doing to these women this whole time? Because the cops are ignoring it. The other woman who's doing the documentary was saying this is a bad place. You shouldn't be there. Yeah, but nobody's doing anything to get them out of that situation. And what's weird is looking at the neighborhood, like, there's nothing about it, other than the fact that all the homes are run down. I don't see a lot of crime out there. I don't see a bunch of junkies on the street. What is your reasoning for thinking this is a bad area, if not because you know what's going on? If they do, then then we'll never get an answer to it, Yeah, it looks like. Unless there's a sequel in the, in the mix in which, okay, great. But if there's a sequel, it needs to have answers. Yeah, but I don't see where you go with the sequel from there because it had never... to be a prequel because everybody's dead now. So I'm about to say there's not a whole lot of room there. Yeah, left at the end, other than she survived at least for now. So. Yeah, 
because how far does that how far does that tunnel go and if, and again if if that's not the worst thing you can find down there is the mother mm -hmm. what is what or have we already seen it all now i'm thinking they were talking about the guy okay i don't want to beat that horse to death i was just curious yeah yeah, yeah. So. all in all how'd you feel about it oh, no, pretty good like i said the, the horror elements that it did have worked out very well the whole back and forth with the stories i don't know how necessary that was some of some of it was just just felt kind of unnecessary plot wise but on the whole, I liked it. I enjoyed it a lot too. I think it stayed relatively confined to them to this one area. Mm -hmm. uh, they might have jumped around in time a little bit and moved to some certain characters, but they managed to keep the story centralized in one location. Mm -hmm. Which I actually appreciate stories like that because you are able to make do with what you have. And it works out nicely too because you have this whole dark cavernous system down there, which is just good nightmare fuel anyway so oh yeah definitely if there's more on the horizon i'll be interested to watch and see what it's all about yeah well fam this is on hbo max so if you want to go watch it by all means go take a look at it i went into this completely blind i hadn't seen a trailer or anything so i had no idea what to expect from that and that uh and that certainly left a lasting impression i think no so, i did yeah. too the only thing i'd heard was a lot of praise for the movie but i didn't know anything that was gonna happen i heard the i heard the praise myself yeah. so for once in a for once in a long while i agree <laughs> with the praise so <laughs> yeah fam uh if this is your first time with us i hope you'll consider subscribing and if you enjoyed the video leave a like and hit those bells to receive notifications whenever we drop a video and should you feel compelled to give us a piece of your mind please do so in the comment section below guys also take a look at us on our socials we're on instagram and tiktok we still do have a twitter account but you're mostly going to find us on the other two flat platforms should you want to reach out okay other than that guys this has been another episode of cocktail flicks i'm joe i'm dan we'll catch you on the flip side cheers to you fam cheers to you dan cheers to you Joe. later